Hello SimHub users, this is part five in a video series on using the Dash Studio within SimHub. In this video, we're going to talk about using telemetry data to test our dashboard creations. When you create your first dashboard, you're going to realize pretty soon that you want to test it out. And so you might think, all right, I need to run my dashboard and then I need to launch my Sim and drive for a little bit and ensure the dashboard is functioning the way that you designed it to. But there is a much easier way. That way is using recorded telemetry data, an incredible feature in SimHub for testing purposes. When you do this, you need to make sure that you are selected on the Sim that you want to do a recording of. I did a recording a week ago from a, a little three lap race at Laguna Seca in Assetto Corsa Competizione. And what I did is I selected the game here. By the way, this list can get very, very, very long. If you only want to show the games that you own, you can go into the settings here and games and turn on and off games that you do or don't want to see in the list. What you want to do when you're recording this telemetry data is get right to the point where you are going to start your race. Don't record your telemetry data and then change a bunch of settings and do something for two minutes because it's going to record a bunch of nothingness going on for three minutes that you're always going to have to fast forward from when you're testing out your dash. So I recommend recording it right when you're you know, on the starting grid. And so with the game running, you will shift over to SimHub using Alt-Tab or your task manager, and you'll want to hit this record button. It will give you some options for settings. You can include screenshots if you want to see what was the, you know, happening visually at different points. But uh, I don't necessarily do that, so I would just click start recording. And then you will run your race or run your laps, and then all you need to do when you want to test out your dashboard is go to the replay button up here and this will show all of your recordings. Here's the one I had of that short little race at Laguna Seca. And so when I click the play button, we will see these replay controls appear. And this works like watching a YouTube video. I can change the position of uh, where I am in, in the race um, and I can even increase the speed. Uh, I can make this go 8x speed and so on. But let's go back to the beginning and then I'm going to pull up my dashboard. So this is a dashboard I've been working on. It's right here. And by the way, if you don't want your dashboard to get hidden, like right now it just got hidden because I clicked away from it, you can click this little push pin and that's going to keep it always on top. And so I'm testing out on my dashboard like this right here. This or I'm sorry, yellow and black warning stripe appears if there's a car to my right. And so I might want to test out if that's working correctly or not. And so I'm not in the car, I'm not driving right now, but I'm just testing out my dashboard. And I have multiple pages in my dashboard, so I can navigate between the pages and test if everything's working. So I definitely recommend that you record at least, even if it's just you running some hot laps on your own, to make sure everything's working. If you're dealing with other cars and maybe proximity to other cars or you know, you're concerned about the position in the race, then of course you do want to record a telemetry recording that has other cars on track with you so those things can be tested. So a nice little way of making your development easier that you don't have to go in and sit in your rig and drive every time you want to test out your dashboard. 